Okay, in this video, I want to talk about variables. Now, variables are the most basic building block of every programming language you'll ever want to learn. The first thing you're always going to learn is variables. And variables are just about the most handy thing ever. I mean, you'll use variables forever. Anytime you're coding, you're always going to be looking at variables. And variables, basically, think of a variable as a bucket or a box. You know, it's a container that you can put stuff in. And then later on, if you want to retrieve whatever's in that box, you can. Variables can be text, they can be numbers, they can even be other variables. There's lots of different uses, and we're going to look at how PHP handles variables in this video. So first of all, PHP designates something as a variable with the dollar sign. So whenever you want to create a variable, you just type in a dollar sign and then you name the variable. And let's call this uh, variable one. And you see how I have two words here, variable and one, and I have put an underscore between them. That's sort of a best practice. If you need to name your variable two, you know, two or three words, try to keep your variables as small as possible when naming them. But at the same time, try and make them descriptive. So at a glance, somebody could sort of figure out what that variable is supposed to do. I've named this variable one. That's not a very good name for a variable, right? But right now we're not using it for anything. And so there's nothing really to name it yet. So I just called it variable one, but we'll see as we go along, you'll want to name your variables in a more descriptive way. But to create this variable, we just type variable one equals, and then the quotation marks. And then let's say, let's just say, this is my first variable. And then remember to end it in a semicolon. And boom, we've created our first variable. So basically, this is a string, right? It's a variable with text in it, so it's a string. You can also, let's create another one, number variable. Again, that's a horrible name, but, but whatever. So in this case, we want to create a, a number in this variable. So let's say number 41. So you'll notice that I did not put quotation marks around this because numbers, you don't need to put quotation marks. So let's create one more here and let's call this second number very And you'll, you'll also see I'm putting variable, variable, variable. Don't do that, that's stupid. I'm just, since we're just starting out and type, I'm typing in variable just to show you that this is a variable. You do not have to type variable every time you make a variable, uh, just as a side note, but let's call this four. So I said earlier that variables can be strings, they can be numbers, they can also be other variables. So let's, let's do third number and Let's go number, and you can see as I start typing this in, our code editor pops up a suggestion. So we can click this and it'll just make it like this. Now third number equals number variable, which is 41. So our third number is now 41. We could take it a step further and call this one fourth number equals number variable, click plus second number variable, which is this guy. So fourth number should be 41 plus four equals 45. So let's test this out. Let's go and let's just call this, let's echo this out, echo fourth number. And you'll see, I forgot to put my semicolon. I'm always doing that. So let's save this and let's go and test it out. Page title 45, which is exactly what we thought it would be because fourth number equals number variable, which is 41 and second number variable, which is 445. Uh, now you can see already, this is starting to get a little confusing. Fourth number, second number. If we look through here, we can sort of see, okay, number variable. And then we can look through here and find number variable, but it doesn't, you know, it's not obvious. So that's another reason why you want to name your variables better than what I'm doing here. 
Uh, but you'll get the hang of that the more the more you do these things. The last thing I want to talk about when it comes to variables, and let's just go ahead and get rid of all this stuff. In fact, let's get rid of this guy too. It's just taking up space. Let's make another variable. Let's call this variable two. Again, horrible name. And my second variable, semicolon. Now we, can, we can't really add these two together because they're not numbers, but let's try to. So let's go echo variable one plus variable two. Let's save this and see what happens. We get zero, right? Something has gone wrong because you can't add two lines of text. You can add numbers, but you can't add two lines of text. But what you can do is something called string concatenation. And you do that just with a period. So now if we save that and hit reload, this is my first variable and my second variable. What it's done is it's put these two together and connected them with a period. Similarly, we can type a quotation mark and type hello world, put our period here, and now this will concatenate this, this, and this together. It'll smoosh all three of these together on one line. So if we hit reload, hello world, this is my first variable and my second variable. Actually, this will come in, in handy. You'll actually use this little period concatenation thing quite often. It's definitely something to remember. So that's all for this video. Variables, they're like buckets or boxes. You put stuff in them. You can pull them out anytime you want just by either echoing them to the screen or using them in your coding in some way. And we'll see these used all the time from now on. We're going to be using variables in a lot of different ways. And I'll show you how to name your variables better than just variable one and variable two. But uh, yeah, that's variables.